Hi makers, today I'm showing you how to make this last minute lay. I'm in Idaho visiting my brothers and I needed a lay but I have no materials and no tea leaf. And so we're gonna show you how to make a lay from the craft store and using grocery store flowers. My normal kahoas take me two hours to two and a half hours to make. So my other goal was to shorten the make time. So I was able to make this one in an hour and I think with a little practice you can too. Keep supporting our channel by liking this video, leaving us a comment and make sure you're subscribed. You can also check out our website. We have merch and upcoming lay products at makeitvegan.com. Our first stop for supplies is Hobby Lobby. We are getting stiff and felt for the base of our lay. We need ribbon to tie on the lay. I am grabbing this cord from the sewing section. Next, we are shopping for ribbon to use for the base of the lay instead of tea leaf. I'm going to use green ribbon, but you can customize it by using any color. Lastly, we are getting some curling ribbon to sew our flower pieces onto the lay. Our next stop is the grocery store to buy flowers. Your best bet is to shop the growers bunches that most grocery stores now have instead of buying mixed bouquets of flowers. Growers bunches usually range from $3 to $10 and you can usually find carnations, baby's breath, and some type of greenery. I was able to find carnations. They didn't have any other greenery or baby's breath so I got a few of these single stem roses that had baby's breath and Israeli ruscus. Okay, so just to review our materials that we just got at the store. So we have our felt that we're gonna use for the base. And then I'm gonna use this cord. You could also use ribbon that we're gonna attach to the base and use to tie it on in the back. We're gonna use this ribbon instead of using leaves. The curling ribbon, we're gonna sew on our, our flower pieces with it. And then we're using foam plates just like we would with any kahoa lay. We have a needle and then just some basics, our stapler and our scissors, and then our selection of flowers from the grocery store. So since we don't have access to tea leaves from our grocery store flowers, we're gonna use the felt as the base. I'm just using a plate so that I can cut out a horseshoe-like shape um, that's gonna go around the neck. So these, this size of felt that's available at the craft store, it might be a little bit small. It can fit, if you had a larger adult, you would probably need to get something from the a fabric bolt, some of the felt, but it's not as stiff. This is why I'm gonna use this. So I'm just gonna put this in the center and I'm just going to maybe go like two inches out and cut around it and make my horseshoe shape. And then I'm gonna cut around the inside. Okay, so here's my horseshoe shape. So that should fit around most adults. Okay, now that I have my horseshoe shape, I'm going to attach this cord to it. You can also use ribbon. When we did our money lay tutorial, we just cut a slit and fed the ribbon through it. Um, this time around, I'm going to cut about 12 to 18 inches of the cord and I'm gonna try to staple it on there. I think that this lay is gonna be heavier than our money lay because of the fresh flowers. So I just want it to be a little bit more secure. Since we don't have tea leaf, we're gonna use ribbon for our base. And so I'm using this ribbon that we picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'm using green. You could use any color. You could use school colors. And then I'm cutting two sizes. I did about six inches and five inches. So 
So for our longer ribbon, we're just gonna staple it on. I'm gonna fold it into a loop and then staple it about halfway um, of the width of our felt. So here's my first layer of ribbon finished all around the base. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach my five inch pieces and go all the way around the base. And both layers, I ended up using 22 ribbons for the size that I did. Um, the base of this lay is inspired by a Fijian Salu Salu lay, which you also see a lot incorporated in the Tongan lays especially when they use foul. Um, so we're gonna do that for the base and then we're gonna go in and make the kahoa pieces to go on top with the fresh flowers. So I'm just gonna staple on top of the first layer of ribbons that I did all the way around. Okay, so I have my base completely finished and I almost used the whole roll, the whole roll of ribbon. This is 30 feet. So you need about 30 feet of ribbon, a little bit less for this lay. I'm gonna put this aside for now. We're gonna start working on our fresh flower pieces. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the foam plates to make my kakala pieces to go across. So I get asked a lot the size and the, how to make the size and the shape of these. And I really just eyeball it. But for this size plate, I'm gonna get two pieces out of one plate. And I'm just doing a half circle, a semicircle. For an adult lay, I usually need eight of these pieces and they're normally about three inches across and then two to two and a half inches going down. So I'm gonna cut out eight of these pieces. Okay, so I have my eight pieces. This next part of the process is gonna be like making a fresh kahole. And so I have my flowers from the grocery store. Um, my options were pretty limited, so I'm gonna do the best I can to make it work. I'm not exactly sure what type of design I'm gonna do yet. So I'm just gonna try out a few different designs until I decide what I'm gonna do. Um, I've used carnations in different videos in the past, 
For this style, I'm just going to um, cut the stem off so that I have the individual petals to work with. Same thing with the rose. I'm gonna remove the head of the rose from the stem so that I can work with the individual petals. So I think for my first layer, I'm gonna do carnation petals all the way around. I don't normally make my kahoas like this because I like to use the Song of India and just have a really clean circle, um, but we're just gonna make it work. So I'm just taking a couple of petals, stacking them together, and then I'm just going to staple them to my plate. This staple for me, stapler for me is a lot easier to use. The carnations can be pretty delicate. So sometimes your stapler will go through and just cut through all of the petals. So I am pretty gentle when I attach them to my foam plate. So I have my first layer with carnations in this pretty color. And then I think I'm going to add a little layer of baby's breath and then some white rose petals on top. So there's with my baby's breath layer. So the rose petals are pretty big to use. Um, so I'm just gonna fold them in half and kind of try to make a design with those. So I think I'm gonna fold them in half, then maybe in half again to make a little quarter. So here's with my rose layer, and I think I'm gonna add a couple more carnation petals in the center. Okay, I am gonna trim the very top, anything that's kind of sticking out. But that's how my pieces are gonna look, and so that's my first one. I'm gonna make seven more. So for the style that I'm doing, I did use 12 carnations. It's a lot easier to use these bigger petals for the style that I'm doing. And so these smaller petals aren't gonna be used. I'll use a few when I do that top layer of the flower piece.
Okay, so we have all of these pieces done. Um, I did several layers. So if you want your lay to be a little bit faster, I would simplify this and only do like two or three layers. I have a little bit of extra baby's breath. And so I'm just going to staple this around my base. So we have our baby's breath going all around and now we're gonna sew on our individual pieces. We also need to put something here to finish it. Normally we do a tea leaf rose, but that is a lot more time consuming. So I'm gonna finish it with these leaves. So first we're gonna sew the piece on. I'm gonna start in the center and work my way to the outsides. So I'm gonna sew through this in three places. So one on the side, one in the center, and then the other side. Um, I think it would have been easier if I left a little bit more felt, if my felt was a little bit wider, because it's hard to sew through the layers of ribbon and the felt. But when I go through the center of my piece, I'm gonna add my leaf. And I think I'm just gonna fold it in half. And with my white ribbon, I'm going to make an X. You see that a lot when um, they make the cajoas with fa. Sometimes they'll do an X at the top of the design to finish it off. And now I'm going to sew through the other side. And then I am overlapping my pieces a little bit, um, partly because I'm working with the curve that we cut out and also set so that they will all fit on my base. Okay, so I've sewn on three pieces. I'm gonna start going this way um, because this one is going farther than my ribbon. So I'm gonna sew these on and see where it ends up because I can easily add one more ribbon and so then my flower pieces will end at the same, the same point as the base. 
Okay, so this is the needle that I use in all of my lays, and I get asked this, this is probably the most frequently asked question, but this is just a long doll needle. It's the longest one I found at the craft store and I got it from Hobby Lobby. This is what I've been using so far. Um, I'm actually gonna switch my needle. I have these ones with me. These are the ones that I use when I make Hey Lala lays, and so, um, they're sharper and larger, so I think it's going to be easier for me to sew through the layers. So I will link both of the needles that I use in this video. Okay, so we sewed on all the pieces. We have one left and I am gonna add one more ribbon on and maybe a little piece of felt just to help staple everything on. Whenever we're sewing it, you're gonna tie it off in the back. This last piece of string I have is a little bit too short, so I'm just tying more string onto it to make it longer. And then once I sew through this piece, I'll tie it in the back. So here's the back of my lay. I just wanted to show it because people will ask that in the comments sometimes. So we attached the cord to tie it around. We've sewn it with curling ribbon and then the ribbons are stapled on. And then here's the front of our lay. It does look a little bit small. I think this method of making it definitely works for teenagers and children's and adults too. I'm gonna look for a bigger square of the stiffen felt that I can link in the description if you need to make a larger lay, but I think that this fits me just fine in most adults. Okay, so just to review all the steps that we took, so we used felt for our base and we did this um, ribbon, the two layers of ribbon inspired by the Fijian Salu Salu. And so that's our base instead of the tea leaf. Then we stapled on the baby's breath layer. And then my top kahoa pieces, um, we used carnations, baby's breath, roses, carnations again, and then did a single leaf with the X. You of course can use whatever flowers you can find and use your creativity to make it your own. Thanks for watching our video. Here's our finished lay. I'm really excited with how it turned out and I can't wait to see yours. Keep tagging us on social media. Please support our channel by liking this video and leaving us a comment and make sure that you're subscribed. We also have upcoming lay products and merch on our website, makeitmegan.com.